<laughs> hey, I find a loophole. Been since a youngster. Fully, we can't let no punks. About no, I treat a model like a. And now, your Arizona starting lineup. everyone it's the nba on saturday night presented to you live on 2k sports along with grant hill and richard jefferson this is brian anderson and we've got our reporter ali laforce and taking a broader look here at the year over year scoring trend for lowry marketing and the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit that's not what you want and i'm sure it's something he's well aware of and the California starting five. They've got Jalen Brown, and it's Anderson in at center. And for Arizona, we've got Laurie Markkinen, and it's Arenas in at the shooting guard position. With a new season underway, what are some areas that are challenging for players to get used to again, Graham? You know, B.A., I think being on the road again in general, making sure you continue to eat right, get the proper rest, getting into a routine as quickly as possible. That's what's the most challenging at first. Here's Bibby. Pass to Arenas. Puts up a deep three. Hit with a rebound. And he makes it on the layup. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Here's Bibby. Here's Arenas, and that one is stopped right through. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. Here's Kidd. Arizona getting their last shot to go. Outside, Brown. The three is up. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Bibby, the pass to Iguodala. The rebound by California. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Brown scanning the floor. From downtown. Doesn't go that time. For Arizona, they've gone one for three so far. Now we'll go to Ali LaForce, who had a chance to talk with head coach Mike Budenholzer. We discussed Jalen Brown and what makes him such a hard player to defend, and coach said to me, Jalen is a freak athlete and has become a really good shooter over time, too. We can't give him clean looks, and we have to guard him closely. Let's see if the defense is up to the task. Thank you for that, Ali. Here's Abdul Rahim. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. And here's Arizona. Here's Jefferson. Pass to Bibby. Jefferson, pass to Arenas. Six on the shot clock. Pure from three-point range. Arenas has got five. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And for a scorer as prolific as marketing. He doesn't need the ball in his hands too often. So many of his scores come off assist. So just a great sense of when to get into space and become available. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Kid, the pass to Anderson. Here's Kid from the arc. 
drills it from deep. He's got five. Three points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Jefferson. He's been a big scorer for this offense, averaging around 20 points a game. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Kid to pass to Brown. 4-3. Iguodala with the rebound. Arizona leading by three. Here's Jefferson. No luck on that one. Outside, Brown. Pass to Kidd. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Arizona. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. They played pretty solid basketball, but a few miscues all it takes to turn a win into a loss, especially against a good team. Kidd, the pass to Anderson. Here's Chenier. To the middle. Back to Brown. To the right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Anderson. Three-pointer. Some solid defense for marketing. For Arizona, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. Here's Chenier. Inside. Here's Abdul Rahim. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. How do you stop a good fadeaway jumper? Yeah, that's a trick question. You know. Iguodala outside. Marking it from long range. No good there. California trails by three. Here's Kidd. Uneasy two on the layup. Kidd's got seven. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Here's Jefferson. 27 points his last game. Here's Iguodala. Count the basket. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. And California shooting around 40% early on here. Timeout. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. This, their first look at this year's Arizona squad. Winning the season series last year in a battle of middle-of-the-pack teams. Aiden, he's checked in for Arizona. Murray's checked in for California. With a brief pause, here are the most difficult teams to score against over the last 10 games. They've dialed up the defense in a big way. You've got to get creative if you're going to find ways to score against them these days. Here's Kidd. Anderson finds Murray. Anderson with a screen. Takes a three. Knocks down the triple. He's got ten. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Pass to Arenas. To the inside. Marketing. And Marketing with the stuff. And this is inexcusable. The defense must force Marketing further away from the rim. Outside Murray. Here's Chenier. Outside, Brown. Let's go with a three. And Arenas pulls it down. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And his ability to efficiently score, that's really helped him out in this one, putting them ahead on the scoreboard. So it's California now. Arizona getting their last shot to go. Here's Chenier. He's scoreless. And Aiden pulls it down. Arizona leading by four. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Here's Kidd. He's got ten. It's Brown on the wing. 
Shot on the wing. That shot is off. That makes him 0 for 5. He's got to take a back seat right now. When you're ice cold, you can't just keep gunning. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Right side, Murray. Right wing. Here's Kidd. Kick out to Brown. From deep. Fires in the triple. Once a weakness in Brown's arsenal, now he's a legitimate threat to burn you from deep. Bibby, the pass to Markkinen. Here's Bibby. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Here's Kidd. Pass to Murray. Wildcats foul. Mike Bibby. So both teams changing it up here. First team foul. Substitution on the court. So it's California now. They trail by three. Now Johnson. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Shot clock at six. Anderson passes to Brown. Johnson for three. Rebounded by Arizona. Here's Bibby. Pass to Arenas. Let's it go. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. And here's Johnson. Nine points in his last outing. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. First personal foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Anderson passes to Murray. Pass to Kidd. Five to shoot. They haven't had that much success in the paint. Misses from short range. Here's Arenas. Gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. Plays like that, so easy for him. Brown passes to Kidd. Outside Murray. Anderson with a screen on Markkinen. Wildcats foul. Gilbert Arenas. First personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution on the court. So it's California now. Seven point differential. Clock at six. And it's Brown off the drive. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Brown's got five points. Look, that was good defense. But Brown, he's just too good and just continues all the way through. Now here's Aiden. He's closely guarded. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Johnson. Back to Brown. The baseline, Jay. It's rebounded by Bibby. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. From outside the arc. Counted from distance. He's got five. I like everything he's doing so far offensively. Finding his spots, making strong selections. Here's Chenier, still without a bucket. That shot is off. Ooh, excellent D there from Eaton. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. Here's Bibby, coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Here's Terry. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for California. Trailing by eight. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Here's Bibby. Top of the key. 
rebound by Murray. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Chenier. And a nice finish on the layup. I love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Here's Bibby. Here's Terry. The three. It's not going to go for him. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Johnson finds Brown. Here's Chenier. He has a clear impact on this offense. Putting up over 19 a game. Shoots from 14. And the shot falls short that time. Iguodala, the pass to Terry. Let's the three fly. Sinks it from distance. And so it's Arizona with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be right back with you shortly.